Hey, what is up guys? So today we're going to be talking about shooting RAW versus JPEG and the reason why I really want to bring the subject up today is because I have been asked a couple times how do I edit my photos in Lightroom and because I do edit possibly a little bit different and unconventional compared to others Today's topic is going to help me explain why I edit the way I do in Lightroom. So the difference between shooting RAW versus JPEG is that the JPEG files do retain less information in your shadows and your highlights because it is a compressed file. Although it may look better than a RAW file straight out of the camera because the contrast is already applied and the colors have already been enhanced, this actually may not be the best option if you would like to do more extensive work on that photo. Now the reason why the colors and the contrast on the RAW photos are not enhanced is because this is a bigger file that flattens the image so you retain more detail in your highlights, your shadows, and your colors, which gives you more control over your photos. That's the key, I have control. You gotta always have control, on and off. Now, here's a visual representation with food describing raw versus JPEG. A JPEG file is like buying seasoned meat at the grocery store. The seasoning has already been applied so you have less control over what you could do with the next. It's more of a ready to go type of deal. Now, a raw file is like getting raw meat. You have more control and creative freedom in which way you would like to season it, which gives you more room to play with in both Lightroom and Photoshop. Now why would you ever want to shoot JPEG? For example, if you're going on a trip and you would just like to take photos to remember that trip and not really want to edit them for other work later, then JPEG files will be preferred especially because they take less memory space on your hard drive and they already have a slight contrast and color adjustment made to them. So I shoot in RAW and the way I edit in Lightroom is by first starting to flatten the photo even more so I can recover more of the highlight and shadow details so when I go into Photoshop I have more information to work with. And I do this by bringing up the shadows and also bringing down the highlights by pushing it to the left and then I also do uncontrast the photo because it overall flattens the image which brings back some highlights and some shadows. Now I'm going to be bringing back some of the whites just because I don't want those highlights to be too blown out and I'm also going to bring up some of the blacks to bring back some of that shadow information and I also really do like to bring up the vibrance just a little bit because it helps me see where the colors are going to start popping out now as I continue I still bring back some of those highlights down and I also bring back some of those shadow informations by bringing up the blacks so as you guys can see with my Lightroom edits, what I really try to do is just bring back more detail information in both my shadows and my highlights. And I also try to properly expose the photo in certain areas, which this saturation and luminance tool is really going to help me with. So I start by saturating or desaturating each individual color, just depending on how it complements the overall photo. Now that I get to the aquas, I am going to make an extreme push to the left and to the right just to see exactly what it's going to be affecting. And I can see that it's hitting only certain parts of the pants, but I see it more on the lights in the background, so I am going to end up saturating it just a little bit. Now something that I've noticed when you're saturating certain colors is that it does help you properly expose that color and bring back some of that detail. And this is something that we're seeing with the blues in the pants, which is why I am going to saturate just a little bit more to bring back some of that detail. So now that I'm finished saturating or desaturating certain colors, I do switch to the luminance tool which helps me brighten certain colors or darken them. And this tool is really going to help me properly expose each individual color. Once again, I'm going to go through each individual color and either brighten it or darken it depending if that color was underexposed or overexposed. And I'm going to do this so I can recover as much information as I possibly can. So this is how I edit in Lightroom by bringing back more information for me to work on in Photoshop. And here's the before and after Lightroom edit. And you can definitely see that we did recover shadow information and also brought back some of those highlights. Now here's another photo that I did end up posting on Instagram and here is the Lightroom edit for that one. And you guys can see if I go back and forth with this edit compared to the one we just did, it is really similar in the fact that we practically just brought back the shadows and highlights and also brought back some of those colors. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll down so you guys can see all the adjustments I made to this photo is really similar to the one we just made on our Lightroom edit. 
Now here are more examples of my before and after just Lightroom edits before I take it into Photoshop and you can see that it's very consistent in the way I bring back highlights and also bring back those shadows and I do this so I can have more control on Photoshop. So my Lightroom edit is setting it up for Photoshop just like in LU. So now here's the edit once I come out of Photoshop and you can see that most of the work is done there. And you can see that the majority of the work was done in Photoshop when it comes to making those colors pop and adding the contrast. I didn't want anybody to be confused thinking that I do all of my editing in Lightroom or that I use a certain preset. I do most of my work on Photoshop and once I finish editing on Photoshop, I do bring that photo back into Lightroom where I refine certain colors or my shadows and my highlights. I like how Photoshop allows you to keep your workflow a lot more organized and it also gives you a lot more control over your editing than Lightroom does. But don't get me wrong, Lightroom is amazing. It definitely speeds up my workflow so much because it is better and more efficient at editing certain things such as your shadows, your highlights, and also the color temperature. So now that you guys have an idea on how I edit in Lightroom, let me know which one of these photos you guys would like me to show you how I edited in Photoshop. Comment down below for either one or two and I will make this the next video. Thanks again for watching and if you guys find content like this helpful, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also feel free to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on future content. Thank you guys for all the support, much love and I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Alright, peace.